Hi there. In a world of economies of scale, giant multinational corporations, monopoly power, oligopolistic competition, why is it that so many firms survive? Take a look at the data for the UK. Uh, small firms dominate the business population. In fact, if you look at businesses employing less than 50 people, including micro firms that don't employ anybody, they're just run by the owner, 99% of all businesses employ less than 50 people in the UK. And they account for nearly 48% of employment and just over a third of total business turnover. So small firms are incredibly important, particularly for a country such as the UK. I'm sure we can all think of some examples of small businesses that have done pretty well and seem to survive in a really competitive environment. I'll just pick out a couple for you here. These are some of my, fav some of my favorites, by the way. So Collective Dairy is a luxury yogurt maker that's competing against some giant businesses like Danone and Yoplait and others. Well, they're, they're competing pretty well, uh, particularly they're getting some foothold in the supermarkets. Brompton Bikes is a tremendous business success story. Foldaway Bikes, the inspiration comes from London, now selling these bikes across the world. And the company such as Yorkshire Provender Soups, again, they're competing in the sort of chill soups market with the massive own label brands of the supermarkets and one or two others as well. But they compete because of their flavours, because they're very innovative in what they do. So I think for this kind of topic, find two or three examples, your favourite examples of small businesses that seem to do pretty well, particularly when they're competing against giant multinational corporations. So why is it that businesses survive that are small? The median profit of small and medium sized businesses in the UK just two years ago was just £8,000. Yet we see many businesses just survive and grow. Indeed, as we've seen globally, many digital startups have grown rapidly to challenge well-established businesses. Just think the likes of Uber, Airbnb, Snapchat, Pinterest, Dropbox, Spotify. There's a, a huge list. But anyway, let's think about small businesses, particularly competing in oligopolistic markets. How do they survive? A key point is that many small businesses act as kind of suppliers and subcontractors. So that's typically a really good example of the construction sector. <coughs> Probably big projects, building projects, new roads, new buildings. Oftentimes as part of the contract, small businesses can successfully bid for and win contracts to provide specialist services. Another reason why small businesses do well given that they can't necessarily exploit big economies of scale, is that they, they find specialist niche markets where consumers are willing and able to pay a high price, maybe a premium price. In other words, the price elasticity of demand is low. Perhaps, for example, a good, a good case to look at would be bespoke furniture or really specialist advice services. And of course, if people are prepared to pay a premium price, as a result, you can stay in business. Small businesses typically can avoid diseconomies of scale. And actually, many small businesses are just basically run as lifestyle enterprises. So instead of the, satisfying the usual criteria for being a profit-maximizing, optimizing business, a lot of small enterprises are basically run as lifestyles. You know, the owners might be happy with a satisfactory rate of return rather than trying to maximize their profits. In other words, they're satisficers rather than maximizers. I think point five is really quite important. So many small businesses are innovative, flexible, nimble. When the market changes, they can move quickly. Whereas your big multinational businesses, your big corporations are weighed down by overhead costs, fixed costs, many layers of management. And they become a little bit risk averse. They become a little bit sluggish. So small firms can be very nimble. In particular, they can get their products to market more quickly. Perhaps with just a minimum viable product. If that doesn't work, they can try again. They can move quickly as the market changes. And then digital technology is helping many small businesses. So the barriers to entry into markets have come down because of digital platforms. It's now just so much easier to set up a business and providing you've got a good, strong social media presence, providing you've got a basic e-commerce functionality, you can set up and sell online and bring down some of the traditional costs of being a kind of bricks and mortar business. If you turn yourself into a clicks and mortar business, you can do pretty well.
So these are some of the key factors why small firms tend to survive. They subcontract, they stay nimble, they stay fresh, they stay innovative. Uh, and crucially, they've now got the digital tools to be able to compete even in the land of the giants. Small businesses doing pretty well in the UK. Cash flow is a problem, but many small firms survive and prosper.